Good morning. You catch us on the promise of a nice one for mid-October. So uh, we're not going to a car show or car meet today, we're just going for a drive. And um, just thought I'd bring you along. So we'll see you on the road. Well, the sun's trying to come out, and there's supposed to be a little calf down here. Never been before, and occasionally there's a meat here, but not today. Just wanted to try the little calf out. We had a lot of rain again yesterday, so the roads were a bit damp. This little calf is going to come up on the left somewhere on a little industrial estate, but I've never been before, so I have to keep my eyes out. See the sign, it's called the Shed Calf. So it's in here then. Somewhere. Over there. Over there it is. How about that? That was easy found. That was indeed easy found.
Well, what a lovely breakfast that was. Now I say they do a car meet here one day, um, certain day on the month. I don't know when it is, but um, yeah, plenty of parking, nice calf. Might give that a look one day. Not far. Well, gives the car a run, doesn't it? That's what it's all about. Sun's coming out. Gonna be a nice day today. A full English fry up is our traditional breakfast and it, I find for myself it sets me up for the day. I can go all day now and not, and not be hungry for anything else. I don't know whether that will be the case today but I'm just uh, wondering what, because we know we've got a few people watching various parts of the world and I just wondered what your traditional breakfast was in, um, in your neck of the woods. So please stick it in the comments and uh, it'll be very interesting. Now there is a reason for today's drive out and it's very personal to me but I thought I'd bring you along to distract my mind a little bit and um, not get so low. It, today is the 40th anniversary since my since my mum died. She died when I was 17 and um, I just want to visit a few places where we used to live, her last place of work, um, go past the hospital where she where she passed and then onto the crematorium and uh, yeah just reflect a little bit but like I say I don't want to, I don't want to dwell on it so otherwise I'm going to get upset and I don't do that. So that's why I brought you along to distract my mind a little bit. So I don't know whether I'll upload this video or this video may just be for me. But then if I have uploaded it, you'll be going, well you did upload it because I'm watching it now. Anyway, it's a nice day. So we're heading today to Clacton on Sea. Sunny Clacton. Although today, it, I think it will be sunny Clacton. where I lived when I was knee high to a grasshopper so I know my way around so they won't be getting any we won't be getting lost today that breakfast that was the first breakfast in a long time that I didn't have the biggest breakfast on the menu it, it seems to be my go-to thing and the reason I didn't go for the biggest is because it came with sausage, uh, it came with, beg your pardon, mushrooms and black pudding. And I can't be doing with either of them. I mean, black pudding, what's that all about? Definitely not for me. Oh God. There was a lake over there to the right. That water was ever so high. Now, shall we go the old way into town? Or 
it's not the new one. I mean, it's been the, the old 20, 25 years, I call it the, the new way. Let's go the old way. The old back roads. So think I'll head for the seafront because I'd like to get a couple of drone shots of the pier. Again, just something to distract my mind a little. I keep seeing new houses where there was once a bit of a field, which is incredible. the left as well and I can't oh my god look at them ones to the right that was definitely a field over there like you Riley the little memories that have long since been hidden in the corners of your mind all of a sudden come back drop-off times now, you see, we'll be on 20 to 9, yeah. school we used to live in one of these areas He's up here and I used to cycle from mine to, uh, to there. Now those were the days you see that the youngsters don't understand because you'd get on your bike back in the day and you weren't allowed to use the home phone to see if your mate was at home. You'd just get on your bike, ride out to his, could have been a mile, a couple of miles, and he'd got there and his mum might have said, oh no, he's left, they've gone round Alistair's or something, you know. So then you'd cycle to Alistair's and they might not be there. So then you'd cycle on somewhere else and you might find them all outside Terry's or something. But by then it could have, you could have been cycling around for two or three hours. Now it never bothered you. You just got on with it. And by the time you found your mates, it might be nearly time to go home again. It might have been the time that your mum said, right, well, I want you home at whatever time. But you didn't moan. You might have had half hour play with your mates and then got on your bike and gone home. And tried not to be late for it, getting in. But nowadays, the kids now, they'll text their mates. And if their mates don't reply straight away, start getting the ump. 
think you went last you went last two minutes in my day. Now the nearer we've got to Clacton, the more the clouds have appeared. Whereas when we where we left Elmstead Market where that calf was, it was looking promising. But it's not raining, so you know. We can't have everything. I think that house over there that's selling the plants. Pretty sure they've always sold plants there. I've got the wrong shoes on today, they're squeaking. That um, brightly coloured lady back there with that stick, that's a lollipop lady. And that was something that uh, this country employs to stand at the side of the road and then walk out in front of traffic to let the kiddies pass. Again, I wonder if that's something that goes on in other countries or is that a, a uniquely English thing? squeaking that day, aren't they? a supermarket over there it's all boarded up now blimey old Clacton Pier. Now there is someone swimming in the sea there. What's going on? Are they mad? Unbelievable. It's a bit windy here as you can probably hear on the mic. And the seagulls keep dive bombing me. Right, let's get back on the road. 
to Calder here. Yeah? Well, so much for the sun today then. But it's not waning, so we've got to pull a positive out of that, haven't we? I did a um, I did a decibel reading on the car in the uh, thinking that Harry's Garage does them, don't he? Harry Metcalf does them on his channel. Did a decibel reading, so I've done that, so you can see. Oh, that was a nice BMW Z4. I like that. Nice car. Yeah, so you can see what the reading is. I think it was late 50s, early 60s, I think it was. So we're we're still in Clacton. I've uh, I've visited a couple of places that are relevant to me mum. I've popped and seen my brother, which I don't see very often, but uh, that's nice. That's nice to see him. Now we're just going to make the way out of town. I think it is due to rain later on this afternoon, I think. But we'll be um we'll be back by then. So we'll be fine. I haven't really got much to say or uh, or anything really. I'm sort of away with my thoughts a bit really. So I'll um No I've got to think where I'm going. Oh no, yeah, I know where I'm I wanna go that way now, don't I? Yeah. And then through Great Clacton, that's right. Yeah. So I'll, uh, I'm going to turn this filming off for a minute and we'll, um, we'll film a bit more a bit later. See you in a bit. Well, I'm just leaving the creme now. The, um, it's raining, so. Mum's made it rain on me car, which is uh, lovely. Cheers, Mum. So, uh, anyway, yeah, nothing to say. So, um, thank you for watching. If I do post this, thank you for watching. And um, see you on the next one. Thank you very much.